Hello everybody, my name is Tuba Splat and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Settlement Showcase series and this time we are in Far Harbor at the National Park Visitor Center. Um, so for Far Harbor, I'm only going to cover Park Visitor Center, Dalton Farm, which is my player home in Far Harbor, and Echo Lake Lumber. I'm not going to cover Longfellow's Cabin because he's the only one that lives there and I didn't do anything to it, just like in... Uh, majority of the farms in uh, the Commonwealth. So there are, I think there's two, I think there's like two or three spawn points for enemies here at the Park Visitors Center. One being somewhere over here, um, that's the, why the line of defense here of the turrets. And surprisingly, this can go out pretty far um, in the parking lot which I never realized it that you could push it out this far but really I don't need to so I just left it alone so there's that um, Must be 30 years. More than someone did. yeah there may be some frame rate issues at least when I first got here to start recording um, it seemed like we get closer to the house and frame rates drop. So, um, yeah, there's our Brahmin, our farm of uh, corn, mute fruit, and some razor grain. Um, maybe there is only two. Or maybe, no, maybe there is three, but I just set up like two lines of defense on this side. I don't remember. <laughs> um, in any case, here's where at least one more spawn point is. It's over this way. I know definitely majority of the time whenever uh, the Park Visitor Center gets attacked, it's always um, over here. Okay, so then I've got the... Oh boy, if I can get to it. Um, the Fusion Generator that's powering the Visitor Center is right back here and I put my radio beacon and there's a bunch of wall conduits so that way it's not going to show on the oh I could have gone this way whatever uh, so it's not going to show throughout the park house alright so yeah let's tour the inside so damn hungry maybe I'll I think this weapons workbench was over here. And I think I moved it, and I'm not sure why. I think probably because I was going to put a scavenging station, but then I didn't want um, this Vim Quartz sign, sign to be blocked. So the fog doesn't get us the uh, Let's go in here. This would be the gift shop. That's naturally there at the... Um, here, at the spot, here at the settlement. I didn't add that. It's not part of anything. I just left it there. Um, these, uh, these ceiling fans are, were originally here in the game, as well as these, uh, lights here. Oh, okay, I thought there was more, but, uh, I can't get rid of them. They're just permanently stuck there, and that's kind of annoying. But yeah, I can highlight these ceiling fans that came with the settlement, but, oh well. Uh, here's my marketplace as normal. I got my general store, clinic, and clothing, because it produces happiness. And then if we come over to the other side, we've got all the living space, all the beds and such. Um, I don't know. I guess I just wanted to use the bunk beds from uh, Creation Club, so I figured why not use it here. Besides that, I feel like if I did uh, if I use, like, sleeping bags, there'd be a whole lot of room left in here, and I'm like, um, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> so I just did with the bunk beds. Uh, these bathrooms are empty, and I'm alright with that. So then we come up here, and then here is our dining area and bar hangout. So we got the barkeep over there 
Wait a minute. You look like the guy who's downstairs. Hang on a second. I need to investigate this. I knew you would help us. Whoa. Okay. If one of them is a synth, I don't know what is. Um <laughs> Wow, okay. Um <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um <laughs> So yeah, I got my barkeep the soda fountain from Vault Tech Workshop. Then I got some uh, dining benches out here. I did add these street lights that you see throughout the front front area here. I did add those into the settlement because they got really dark. Um, yeah, uh, the ending I chose for this was to destroy the children of Adam. Um, I don't know, because to me, personally, I'm an atheist, so I think the children of Adam are completely nuts, so I just killed them all. Even though I know, um, Dima doesn't like it, but I, I did it anyway, because that's my own personal belief. Um, so, there was, I know those lights are clipping, there was, um, like a little walkway here. Not really a partial roof, but it was like the floor was here, and it. I'm doing the wrong but. Whoa, where'd my water go? That's why my happiness is going down. What happened to my water? Do I even have water? Ooh. I don't think I even have water here. That's a problem. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't think I have water. Oh dear. That's a little problem. That, that can be fixed. There. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever noticed that. Um. <laughs> Oh, they got water. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah. There is, um, or there was, like, some, like, floor here, and it went, it went, uh, let's see if I can find it over here. It went, there was, like, a lookout point that led up here. And there was almost like a guard, like a guard station that was up here, but I went and got rid of it, and I was able to manage to put on some roof, so that way it wasn't a giant hole in the roof. Hard times. Okay, so now let's do the night tour. All right, here we are back again, and this time for the night tour, and these lights are. Doing pretty good here in the front part of the visitor center. I didn't do so much with the outside because I feel like the fog condensers can produce enough light, or at least to dot the area around. And clearly, there's enough light <laughs> in the visitor center. Um, I would have put more. Oh no, I did. I did. Never mind. I. I wanted to add more of um, these lights here, these track lights, but like here they clip and then, oh, I think I was going to try and put some here along like this, um, I don't know what to call it, not a relief, I don't know, but like the molding here, um, but I think they were clipping and they were just like a struggle to put on here. And I would have done, I guess, more of the string lights like I always do, but I feel like they were getting really kind of repetitive and tiring, so I just left them alone. So, oh, here's where they'll congregate. Hip boy, heard about that. Hello. I never met someone who did the captain's hands before. Um. 
So that's pretty much it for uh, the National Park Visitor Center. Yeah, it's just lit and stuff. Um, <clears throat> I think like if there was more stuff I could have gotten rid of, like all this debris would be gone. Like I know if I got rid of this magazine rack, the debris here would be gone. Um, I don't know about this debris here. I wouldn't think if I got rid of the magazine rack, this would disappear. But there is more or less ways to get like clean floors. Um, at least in Far Harbor. And, uh, I don't know, I don't, no, not so much Nuke World, but, um, yeah. So that's going to be it for the National Park Visitor Center build here in Fallout 4. Next we'll do my player home and then Echo Lake Lumber. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it and to stay in tune with the rest of the series, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.